season, Michelle. And uh, how's the weather looking for the upcoming uh, weekend? I guess we'll look ahead right now on Tuesday, the weekend. Already pushing me yeah. for a Saturday <laughs> forecast. Uh, yeah, you know, we've got uh, some good days ahead. Even today, not bad as we bring in milder air with less wind today. One trade off, we're going to see some clouds filling in. You're going to see a colorful sunrise here shortly, less than 10 minutes away in Narragansett. And our skies uh, pretty in Providence as well. Look at that city cam sky on fire this morning. 43 degrees with a wind chill. Just slight here. 40 is what it feels like. Winds much lighter than they were yesterday and the humidity is still fairly low. We're going to keep our threat tracker in the green for today, Wednesday and Thursday. We do have some weather changes to talk about increasing clouds today. Spot light shower possible as we move towards the afternoon and evening. Wednesday's threat tracker is low. We'll be watching some rain offshore. Most of that again going to miss our area and then Thursday looking at uh, all outdoor activities ago as well. Temperatures outside right now ranging from the low 40s to the low 50s. You can see a little milder in westerly 51 degrees, 48 in Newport Providence. Right now you're coming in at 43. The radar is dry across Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts. You can already see some of the cloud cover trying to stream in. That's what's making for that pretty sunrise this morning. Those clouds will tend to thicken and lower a bit, but a lot of dry air to overcome here for this rain shower activity that you see across the Ohio Valley right now. So that is going to try to shift eastward, but most of it will fizzle as it pushes into Rhode Island and southeastern Massachusetts and our future cast certainly showing that. So the brightest part of the day today, it's going to happen this morning. Notice those clouds thickening up a bit as we move into the afternoon and evening. Majority of the day looking dry and fine for outdoor activities. Can't roll out just a sprinkle or a very light shower in spots. As we move to tonight, skies stay mainly cloudy. And tomorrow morning, you can see this little blip of green just south of Block Island here. Computer model showing more showers offshore. Some of them bring uh, them close enough to maybe clip the south coast with a little bit of light rain early on uh, late tonight or early Wednesday morning. But the majority of the computer models have us dry as we move towards Wednesday. So future cast for the morning commute, hazy sun and dry temperatures getting into the middle 50s by 8 o'clock in the morning. Afternoon temperatures are going to be climbing into the 60s. Even Narragansett and Newport, I think this is a little too cool from this computer model between the mid and upper 60s expected at the shore, upper 60s, even a few spots hitting 70 today. Johnston at 68, Woonsocket at 68, East Providence 69, Seekonk near 69, New Bedford in the upper 60s, Freetown as well with increasing clouds and still a little breezy, gust 20 to 30 miles per hour. Tonight, lots of clouds, maybe a light shower, not as cool. Temperatures falling to around 50 degrees. Seven day future cast. So, upper 60s for today, mid 60s for Wednesday. Highs on Thursday near 68. Friday may be the pick of the week, 72 degrees. Beautiful, mostly sunny, warm and dry. Saturday starts dry with increasing clouds. Slight chance of some rain on Saturday night and then as we move into Sunday as well. So, the weekend future cast is going to hinge on an offshore storm system. We're keeping an eye on the track. Right now, we're leaning towards that being just far enough away that the forecast would be for dry conditions on Sunday but we'll have to keep an eye on it for you and we'll do